Go there. I take it you listened to Obama's State of the Union speech, didn't you? Holy mackerel, aren't these Republicans embarrassed? I mean, really. They sat on the fat their ears when Obama talked about healthcare, about jobs, about virtually every other subject. The 999 party. Fat chance for bipartisan. But wait, there was one exception. When he compared the bank bailout bill with root canal. Was to shore up the same banks that helped cause this crisis. It was not easy to do. And if there's one thing that has unified Democrats and Republicans and everybody in between, it's that we all hated the bank bailout. I hated it. I hated it. I hated it. You hated it. Even Boner laughed. Present company excluded. 998 out of 1000 people are morons, too dumb to understand the simplest facts, too lazy even to check their claims the liars club dishes up. That ratio worsens with age, as the recent developments in Florida prove. The Tea Partiers who want the Republicans back in office so that we can start another war, let's say with Iran. Stop spending now and accept depression as a capitalist status. They claim, unlike the Republicans, the Democrats are big spenders, which of course is a brazen lie as I have shown already many months ago in my clip Monday Night Live The Mythbusters. I reported again about the facts a couple of days ago in my clip State of the Onion the donut economy. Rachel Madoff of MSNBC confirmed my findings yesterday, January 28, 2010. Okay then, here are a couple of, read my lips, graphs. Even a tea party should be able to understand. First, the budget deficits and surpluses for the last 30 years. The blue bars cover Democrat governments, the red bars Republicans. Oh, in case a Tea Party looks at this, the lower the bars, the higher the deficit. Next, here's a graph that shows increases in national debt during the last 30 years. And for the Tea Partiers, here, the higher the bars, the larger the increase in national debt. Hell, I should have known that this is too complicated for the simple structured mind. By the way, these numbers come from Bush's budget office, the budget office before Obama, and show that Republicans, not the Dems, are the big spenders. But then Boner, Sessions, etc. are members of the Liars Club and couldn't care less what the truth is as long as there is a tea party around who believes every crap served for breakfast. But let's go to something else. I was glad Obama gave the job situation the attention it deserves. Here I have some ideas. I came across an article in the German magazine Der Spiegel, which reported about the fate of German fashion design firm Escada. Just relax. Bear with me for a second. I'll come to the point in a moment. Escada's fashions having been overpriced, it had become a victim of the recession and had filed for bankruptcy, had found an understanding judge, remember this is Germany, and at the last minute found a buyer for the company. The buyer was the stepdaughter of an Indian steelmaker billionaire who in turn hired an expert from another company to turn Escada around, mainly by making its clothing more affordable. Talking about fashion, French President Sarkozy complained about and the French Parliament banned makeups. That's the veil that covers the face, often incorrectly labeled as burqa. Gee, I don't know what the French have against a fashion that has at its goal to conquer the world. Now here's my idea. 
Are you out of a job? Can't get a job? How about you go into business on your own? I'm serious. Let's say you have a sewing machine, you have taste and wouldn't mind working as a fashion designer. Don't laugh, you, you can do it. Now let's get a little adventurous and look for a big market. How about designing Muslim fashion? Serious, don't you think these women would want to wear something nice like this here? Okay, okay, you have a problem with that. But serious, look at this here. It cannot possibly be rocket science to design a dress like this now, can't it? Let's assume for a moment that you would do it and assume for a second that you manage to get some samples together and find a seller for it. And that may include online sales, by the way. You will need, of course, a couple of skilled people who can sew your dresses. What you do is you apply for an SBA-backed loan, arguing that you will hire people. Oh, and if you cannot or will not do the design work, give your spouse a chance. You may just be surprised how quickly skills are acquired. I can see you are not enthusiastic. I'll think of something else. But before I go, I got some bad news. Bad news for Republicans. The economy grew at the fastest rate in five years. Oops. Take care.